What's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a homemade pull-up bar and squat rack. Um, so what you will need is two pieces of two pieces of um, four by four fence posts. Uh, so four pieces of two by four wood and uh, two bags of cement and also a bar for the pull-up bar. Um, first of all, we're going to mark our we're going to mark down about. I think I did it about six centimeters down from the top of the post, and this is where we're going to put our pull-up bar. Um, um, now for this, we're going to find the center of the post, which I think was about 3.5 centimeters for me, but depending on what size post you have, it will be different. Also, um, when you're buying your fence posts. Remember to add about 0.6 meters uh, to the length that you want because the, we're going to dig a hole and obviously cement them into the ground. So, yeah. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole um, for our pull-up bar. We're going to go most of the way through in the post. Uh, to the other side but not completely through well it depends on what kind of bar you have but mine I don't have like a lock or anything so yeah um, you want your drill to be about the same size as your bar not too much bigger mine was like pretty much exactly the same so uh, it was perfect but yeah you don't want it too much bigger well obviously smaller it's not gonna fit so exactly the same size hopefully for your bar and yeah, repeat the process with the same, uh, with the other side, uh, the other post, sorry. And now we're going to cut our 2x4, and this is for the squat rack. Uh, we're going to cut them, we're going to have two on each post, and one will be a little bit shorter than the other, so that it, you know, holds the bar in. Um, I think I did mine about four centimeters higher on one side than the other and also remember when you get your 2x4 that this is also going to be in the ground too with the post so you want to get about 0 0.6 centimeters uh, sorry 0 0.6 meters length um, you want it to be about 0 0.6 centimeters in length longer than um, you know what what you would expect it to be and then yeah, cut it to size, measure it and cut it to size. Um, now we're going to cut the longer side. Like I said before, this side will be about 4 centimeters higher than the other side. Alright, so now we're going to add our 2x4 to our fence posts. Uh, we're just going to nail them on with some big nails so they go right through into the other side. Um, so yeah, obviously the smaller side first, we're going to nail on. You can tuck a few nails in down like along the, along the post, make sure it's nice and secure. Now we're going to chuck our longer piece on and as you can see it kind of, you can see how it creates like a squat rack. 
which um, you know holds the bar in, so you can lift it on and off. Yeah, just get it lined up nicely and uh, chuck it on. Alright, so this is our progress so far. We've put it together on the ground. Uh, the pull-up bar is in place and also the, that shows how the um, bar stands on the squat rack part. Um, so yeah, and the next step is going to be um, so yeah, the next step is going to be to dig some holes for the posts and um, and then cement them into the ground. So yeah. Um, the distance so just measure the distance between each post so you know how far apart to dig your holes and then yeah figure out where you're gonna put your holes and put your tape measure down so that you know exactly where to dig them and then start digging This is the worst part too. Make sure that there's like enough, um, you know, your post holes are wide enough so there's quite a bit of, bit of room around the posts so that, you know, cement can, uh, the concrete can fill up and create like a decent layer around the post. You don't want the concrete to be too thin so it might, might not be strong enough. Now that we've dug the holes, we just want to stand up our pull-up bar in the holes, make sure it's level. If not, take a bit of dirt out of one side or add a little to, to the other side. And then, yeah, you want to get some quick setting concrete and just follow the instructions on the package. Um, it should say to just add water and concrete to the hole and then leave it to set. If you use quick setting concrete, it should set very quickly. And uh, yeah, this is the finished product. So hopefully you guys um, enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.